Hi, I'm going to try to make this much shorter than I did the first time, or the second time rather. Okay, so everybody knows that this asteroid, T 2015 TB145, is newly discovered. It's set to pass by the Earth flyby on October 31st, 10.05 a.m. Pacific Coast and 1.05 p.m. Eastern Coast time. Okay, on October 31. So my time it'll be 10:05 in the morning. Alrighty. So even if this asteroid is only going to be 1.3 lunar distances away from the Earth at this flyby, it doesn't mean that it won't get thrown off its course by running into another object, as we'll see in a short moment or that a piece of it won't get broken off, as they believe was the case with the Russian Chelyabinsk um, meteor that hit in February 2013, which I'll show you a news article for that in a moment. So this is a JPL NASA's site, and this is their article that they just published a couple days ago, or actually a day ago, about their nicknaming it the Great Pumpkin because it's coming by on Halloween morning. Okay, they just discovered it was what asteroid 2015 TB145 was discovered on October 10th, 2015 by a university in Hawaii with their panoramic telescope. So one thing I want to point out is it's very interesting to me that it was just discovered October 10th and it's coming it's flying by October 21st and then they say it's going to be the closest approach to the earth until a different asteroid 1999 AN10 comes which is 800 meters comes by in August 2027 how do they know because they didn't discover this 1300 foot wide 400 meteor until 21 days before it was coming to fly by 1.3 lunar distances just shortly over the distance of the moon past us. So if they didn't find this 400 meter one until three weeks beforehand, how do they know there's not going to be another one that's going to be closer one lunar distance until 2027? They don't, okay? That's my point. The Lord has shown me and other people and inside people have given, insiders have given Christians information to share that we should be prepared for meteors. Um, and it's not to cause fear, but it's to cause you to be prepared. Um, the Lord's always warned his people beforehand of anything that's coming. And we even see it in Revelation 8, although doesn't mean all the meteors and asteroids are going to be related to Revelation. Okay, but we do know that those are ha those happen. It, we've seen smaller ones impact us that weren't detected until the last minute. So I'm going to look at that in a moment. However, I just wanted to share how, how this, you know, we all know that this is a fact and it's coming. One of the reasons they feel like they didn't see um, is because, well, they didn't detect it till it was just passing the sun here, and then they saw it. Okay, but why didn't they see it over here or over here? I don't know. Okay, if we go to BGR.com, um, they just confirm what JPL mentioned, and they also wrote this article on October 21st. Zach Epstein. So he talks about the meteor and then the three-week time frame is particularly interesting in light of comments made before the US House Science, Space and Technology Committee by NASA Administrator Charles Bolden back in early 2000, 2013. He said, from the information we have, we do know we do, I'm sorry, we don't know of an asteroid that will threaten the population of the United States. Bolden said while discussing what he believed to be inadequate NASA funding. But if it if it's coming in three weeks, pray. So he's just saying 
you know, we can't detect all of them, but if it's coming in a short time, pray. Okay, <laughs> sort of ironic they found this one three weeks beforehand. However, it just shows you, it says that NASA noted that the next time an asteroid this large is set to pass Earth isn't until 2027. Of course, that doesn't account for discoveries made just weeks before a flyby. Exactly. So that's my point. They say one thing, but they don't know. They don't know. Okay. In this, um, I'm sorry. I think it's this article. No, 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 no. There's another article. Sorry. Let me pause. Hi, it was this article. NASA maps dangerous asteroids that may threaten Earth. So if you go to JPL, um, this is from JPL NASA website, and you can view the full-size image. I'll leave a link here. You can see the Sun, Mars, Venus, Mercury, and Earth, and just look at all these near-Earth objects, 1,400 potential, potentially hazardous asteroids, PHAs, that are out there. Okay, and this was taken in 2013. Of course, the app, it changes, but most of them are on a, on a projected course. All right, if you go down to the end of this, just read through this article later. It's interesting. If you go down to the bottom, it, it tells you, let's see, NASA, NASA scientists and astronomers around the world are constantly searching for asteroids that may pose an impact threat to Earth. NASA has said that roughly 95% of the largest asteroids that could endanger Earth, space rocks at least one kilometer wide or 0.6 miles, a, half, a little over a half a mile, have been identified through these surveys. Okay, roughly 95% of these large asteroids have been discovered. 5% have not. Okay, so this just tells you that they don't know all of the ones that could put, be a ha potential hazard. All right? And we know that this one was just discovered 21 days, three weeks before it's set to pass by us closely. Now, another thing, so not only do they find some at the last minute, 5% of them haven't been discovered, so there's still 5% of that 1,400 out there, whatever that number is, that can pose a threat that we don't know about, that could be on a projected path, as well as the ones that break off from the larger ones. They've done, um, this is May 2014, they've done research on the Chelyabinsk, Russia meteor that was only 20, meter, 20 meters wide that impacted February 15, 2013. And they discovered that this meteor was actually, um, it had actually most likely been a piece of a larger asteroid that broke off. Um, let's see, it says, analysis of recovered Chelyabinsk meteorites revealed an unusual form of jade jadeite entombed in side glassy materials known as shock veins, which form after rock crashes, melts, and re-solidifies. Jadeite, which is one of the minerals in the gemstone jade, forms only under extreme pressure and high temperatures. This form of jadeite found in the Chelyabinsk meteorites indicates the asteroid's parent body hit another asteroid that was at least 150 meters in diameter. So they're still analyzing, but they're believing that the this meteorite was part of a parent body, a larger body, and that larger body collided with another asteroid and thus this piece broke off, which would explain why they didn't see it because its parent body wasn't on a trajectory towards us and it all, the smaller piece came at, you know, towards us in the early morning or how, you know, so they, it was daylight, they couldn't see it. Um, this one talks also about that. 
And it's interesting because it says a tiny asteroid actually hit Earth, creating a significant explosion over eastern Russia about 9.30 a.m. on February 15. And we know that. Less than 24 hours later, so within that day, a larger asteroid, 2012 DA-14, passed safely above Earth at a distance of around 17,200 miles, which is a lot closer than a lunar distance. It's with, you know, it's only 17,000 miles above the Earth's surface. The closest an object of that size has come to our planet since scientists began monitoring the skies. So astronomers have been tracking the asteroid for about a year and knew it posed no danger of colliding with the Earth. However, possibly 2012 DA-14, the piece of that was the Chelyabinsk meteor. Okay, because this came in and then within 24 hours, you know, within that day, 2012 DA-14 passed by. Okay, also, um, September 8, 2014, a meteorite was only supposed to pass close to the Earth, appears to have actually hit our planet. So, residents in Nicaragua were awoken by a thudding boom hours after warning warnings that a 2000, the 2014 RC Pitbull asteroid was due to skirt close to the Earth. So, 2014 RC was supposed to, to skirt close past the Earth, and then a few hours after that warning, then they heard explosion, and there was a meteorite that came in and hit. So, the crater near, okay, so the crater was 39 feet and 16 feet deep almost the size of the the same one in the well a little bit smaller than the one in Russia residents were awoken around 11 p.m. to the deafening blast however just hours earlier a 60 foot space rock known as 2014 RC Pitbull had passed over the earth and at its closest point flew past our planet at one tenth of the distance to the moon so that's pretty close too so just earlier before or just after 2014 RC passed, then this piece or this smaller meteor that was not piece of it came in. So it's interesting. What I'm saying is sometimes these larger asteroids have other bodies with them, or perhaps they get knocked by other asteroids or debris out there in space and pieces break off. Whatever the case, when we have a larger one passing so close to us, there's a potential for a piece or another body around it to come in. And so maybe just be on watch for October 30th through November 1st you know, the day 24 hours before and after this one is supposed to come in because it could have other smaller meteorites uh, flying with it that break off, you know, from its orbit. Or this asteroid could actually be hit by another and cause a piece to break off. The Lord hasn't told me anything about that. I'm just thinking that it's all interesting and science, scientists don't know because these things happen. We see it in the news. Okay, and then in Iran in July, July 30th, there was, Iran confirms meteor hit. And so in the northern provinces, um, it land, the meteor landed in Avaj in the province of Kazvin. Okay, but then there were other reports of pieces of rock that hit other areas. So we have one, two, three, three other areas where pieces of rock hit. Okay, so I don't know what, if there were, it was an asteroid, I, they don't let you go back and look at the records, but around July 30th, or this was just a smaller one that they, like they said, they only monitor the potentially hazardous ones which are a certain diameter or larger. And even with those, they only have confirmed or found 
so they leave room for error. They know that they can't find 100% of them, as we saw in their news article. So 5% are undetected because they can't see all of them. And even with that, some of them get knocked off their course or pieces get broken off. Or debris that's with that asteroid gets let let go of its uh, what's the word gravity and gets disturbed and, and thrown towards the earth so we know that these things happen and there's no possible way they can say that there's no there's no risk of an impact until 2027 because they just they, they don't know okay they can't be 100% sure nobody can but the Lord's given warning to Christians, and we know that to, we need to be wise, and we need to be in prayer without, you know, pray pray without ceasing. So I just ask that we pray, we ask for protection. We don't have to be in fear because, like I gave, made a video yesterday, we're here until the until the Lord's done with us. Doesn't matter what happens around us. The Lord is going to keep us here as long as he needs us here. And when we're not here, we're with Jesus. So it's all even better. Pray and just have the necessities as you would, you know, for an earthquake or a tornado or, or a flood or a hurricane. Be prepared. Pray and seek the Lord. Be in his will and be ready to be used by the Lord. Amen. God bless.